Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Been so good to us. Been so good to us. Appreciate him tonight, Eddie, for all he's done. Appreciate him for all that he's done. Over in 1 Samuel, the 16th chapter, and we'll start at the first verse. be a good place to start. 1 Samuel 16. <clears throat> uh, we think. We'll probably read the whole chapter here, so just, you know, it ain't that much. It's 23 verses. It ain't that bad. <clears throat> it ain't that bad. Mama. <clears throat> Didn't mean to cut you off. No. <coughs> Felt like it was about the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Felt like it was about the right time. Yeah. <coughs> Thought it was such a good meeting last night. So good. Yeah. Longest I've been in church in a while, except for, you know, the uh, New Year's service or whatever. But other than that, that's, that's the longest I've been in it in a while. Been good. It was good. Yes, it was. It was good. Sometimes you just got to press a little. Sometimes it yes. takes a little longer time than others. And sometimes the reason it takes as long as it does is because we didn't press as hard as we could have or should have. Yes. And sometimes that is just we got to just wait on it sometimes. Yes. But I found out he's willing to wait on. No. He's worth waiting on. Yes. Yes. The Spirit of God is worth waiting on. Holy Ghost is worth waiting on. If you have to wait on Him, it, it, it's worth it. It'll be worth it. 16th chapter, 1st Samuel. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil and gold, and I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. Come on, I thought it said that God had re rejected Saul. Saul got himself in trouble. Yes, yeah. Got himself in trouble. We, we ain't going to get into that part of it a whole lot. Maybe uh, we feel like that might be a different message for some other time. But we, we know that Saul got himself in trouble, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Got himself in trouble. God had rejected him. God had rejected him. And Samuel was uh, a mourning for Saul. No doubt he loved him greatly. But God had rejected him. And I know it was probably a hard thing uh, for Samuel to, to hear that, you know. Yeah. And it would be hard for me to, to accept that, that if God told me how long you're going to do this for this or that one, I've done rejected him. You know, that would be a hard thing. Yeah. Be a hard thing. I thought it, and Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take an heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. Now, if God moves on you to go somewhere, he'll make a way. He'll make a way. Uh, I thought he, he was scared, Eddie, that Saul would kill him if he heard about it, but the Lord had done told him to go. He wasn't going to let him die. Yes. He was not going to let Samuel die or be killed because he was needing to go down there. Yeah. So he told him, Brother Lord, just take your heifer, take it down to offer sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will shew thee what thou shalt do. Thou shalt at want unto me him through my name unto thee. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and he called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that, the, that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Come on. 
The Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but God, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Sham up to pass by, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Again Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel, and Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet one, the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down until he come hither. Now sound to me like it was a pretty good sized feather, you know, pretty big guy, yes, maybe, maybe tall and probably muscular, Lord, real good shape, good health, maybe looks like looking on outward appearance, and probably strong, and no doubt Samuel probably thought, surely these has to be one of them, surely it has to be Come one on, of these, yeah. these is big men, they're strong men, surely they will be the one that the Lord would want to be king. God was looking at the heart. He was looking at the heart. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank God. Hallelujah. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. Now listen. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ready and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise among him, for that is he. Praise the Lord. He was a ruddy little feather, but he had a beautiful countenance. Yeah. Yeah. He had a beautiful countenance. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes, he did. Oh, little bitty feather. Yeah. Little feather. Yeah. No doubt his brother and brothers were probably big strong men. And David was the runt of the family. The rod of the family, you know, that's what they call the, the littlest one of a litter of animals. They call him a rod. He was the rod of all of his brothers. He was the littlest one. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he was the littlest one. But he had a beautiful oh, cat. Yeah. He had a beautiful cat. Come on. Why did he have a beautiful cat? It's different because he had something well and deep down inside of him. Yeah. yeah. From the inside to the outside. Yes. Shining from the inside to the outside, and he was had a beautiful countenance. Yes. Had a beautiful countenance. The Lord said, Arise and anoint him, for well, this is him. Yes. This is him. Yeah. Are the words you get up with there? That's the one I've chosen yes. to be the king. Yeah. Yes. That's the one I chose to be the king. Yeah. Well, I can just about see his brothers and his daddy getting aggravated. <coughs> Why in the world are they going to knock that little feather? He ain't no count for nothing. He ain't no count for nothing. He was the keeper of the sheep. Well, he was the one you could depend on. Yeah. Yeah. He was the one that you could depend on. Yeah. 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 He was the one that God chose. He's the one that was dependable. He was the one that God knew would give his life for the people. Yes. If he had to. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. What did he do to the Goliath? He took him down. Yes. Yeah. What was his brothers doing? They was running and hiding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They was big men. But here comes a little ready man with a beautiful yeah. cow. Yeah. He loved his little yeah. heart. Same little man that God said, Arise and anoint him, for this is him. He's ready, but he got a beautiful countenance. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He might be little in stature, but he had a God dwelling inside of him that was bigger than the whole world. Yeah. Bigger than the whole world. Yeah. Thank God, Lord, I thank you. Didn't know where the, all this was going to go when God moved on. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord know now, thou command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is a cunning flare on an harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Now Saul was a man of God at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it said the Spirit of the Lord came with him. Yeah. That tells you right now that he was a man of God. Yes. He had the spirit. He had the spirit, but he got to fooling around. 
got to put it around, messing around with the wrong things, and the Spirit left him. Yeah. And the Spirit left him. There was an evil spirit that had come upon that man. From the Lord. Come on, my from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. evil spirit from the Lord. Oh. The Bible said every good and perfect gift comes from above, and it does. Yeah. All good things come from above, it does. But this said an evil spirit from the Lord. Yeah. Trouble. Yes. Oh. Trouble. Oh. Yes. That tells me that God had control over that spirit. Yes. Yeah. And he told it to trouble something. Yes. Yes. Come on, Michael. Come on. Come on. Boys, if we don't keep the Spirit of God in our hearts, yeah. and right down in our soul, and are working with us, and are talking to us, and are teaching, and are leading, and are guiding us, and are working with us, Daddy, it'll take its flight, and what's to say? That an evil spirit from the Lord will come upon us yeah. and travel with yeah. 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 He would not do that to me. He died yeah. to Saul. Yeah. And Saul was yeah. one time a man of God. He one time had the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. But he got himself ready in trouble and it lifted from him and an evil spirit from the Lord set up on him and troubled him. Come on. Yes, come on. But God had anointed David. Yes, he did. And the spirit of the Lord began to work with that man. Come on. Yeah. The spirit of the Lord began to work with that man. <laughs> and he went down and he played his song. Yeah. And the evil spirit from the Lord began to lift off of him. Yeah. It come back at a while, but it lifted off of him one day this morning. Yeah. The spirit will lift off of him. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord was moving on David. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other spirit was an evil spirit from the Lord. Yeah, come on. But the, the good overtook the evil spirit. Yes. And it brought it off. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. They were both right. from the Lord. Yeah. Overcome the evil with good. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. The evil spirit came back to Saul to trouble him after David quit playing and they laid that. But while David was playing, the evil spirit would leave. Yeah. Why? Because he couldn't stay with the presence of the Lord. Okay. Okay. Uh, We'll try to read some more here. I hope this is making a little sense to you. Yeah. Yeah. And Saul's so servant said unto him, Behold now an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. From God. An evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Boy, I tell you. Lord have mercy. Let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is a cunning player on an heart. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. <laughs> I know we done read that, and we read it again. But there was all kinds of different instruments back in them days. Yeah. They, they had things to play that we probably don't have now, you know. Yeah. It talked about uh, symbols and different things back then. Yeah. Hearts, you know, flute, flutes of heart. Yeah. All, all kinds of different things it talked about back then. And I've told you, I don't believe in coincidences or just, just because or just so happen to be. But what kind of instrument did little David play? He played a harp. Yeah. Yep. I'm going somewhere. You just hold on. Give me a minute. I'll tell you how the Lord can work things out for you. David was a harp player. And boy, could he play that thing. I'm telling you, I, I believe that he could play it better than anybody around. I believe that with all my heart. Why? Because the Lord was working with him. Yes. But what did them men Ask to seek out a cunning player 
on a heart. <laughs> they asked specifically for a heart player. Yes. What was David? A heart player. <laughs> there was a reason that they asked for a heart player. Yes. Because God knew that David was a heart player and he knew he could get the job done. I hope this is making sense to you. Yes. Yes. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite that is cunning and play, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Hallelujah. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. <laughs> He's not been anointed king, but he was worried about going back and taking care of the sheep. Yes. yes. Come on. Can we get this done, boys? I've got some sheep to take care of. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yeah. No doubt Jesse probably went out there as a time and said, David, come and eat. It's dinner time. He probably said, Father, I'll be down a little bit. I'm making sure the sheep are okay. Yes. I'm making sure the sheep is okay and I'll be there. Yeah. He was still with the sheep. Even after he got a moment, he went right back to the sheep. And he stayed right there with us. Stayed right there with the sheep. And Jesse took an ice laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent them by David unto his David his son unto the all. <laughs> That kid, that's a baby goat. That's what that that's what it represented back in there. That's what they call it. Baby goat, the kid. Yeah. We just got a couple more verses to go. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. Listen now. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took an heart and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It means something, boys. I have the spirit of the Lord working in me. Yeah. Yes, it does. It means yes. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Little man, that are taking care of the sheep. Now I can just about imagine that he probably didn't count himself to be nothing. Oh just a little overseer of his father's sheep. Yes. Just a little overseer of his father's sheep. That's probably all he thought he was, and he was happy to be there. Yeah. Happy to be there. Happy to have the job. Yeah. Taking care of his father's sheep. Yes. And there was, there was the Spirit of the Lord began to work with that man. Young boy, whatever you want to call. He began to play a heart. And he didn't just play a heart. He played in the spirit. He had the spirit of work in him. How can you say that? Because if David would have sat there and played in his self, that evil spirit from God would have never departed from Saul. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We deal with evil spirits all the time. The world is full of them. Yes. The world is full of them. But you know what never can overcome the evil spirits? The Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We've had them walk right in this building. And a lot of time didn't even know nothing about it. Hallelujah. Didn't even know nothing about it. 
They walk in there, they walk right back out, and before you know we found out, but it was too late. They done been here. Done done their damage and they're gone. Before we realize what happened. Come on, Michael. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, Michael. Praise the Lord. They was here and they left. Done damage while they was here. We didn't realize. Never till it was too late and they was done gone. And the damage was done down. <coughs> the damage was done down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're having a good time. We've had a good revival up till now. We've had some pressing times. We've had some nights that seemed a little tighter than others, maybe this or that. But it's been a good revival. Yeah. 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 It's been good. That's just part of it. I, I struggle through revivals before. I've struggled through messages before. Struggle through songs, they're different things, but it's still good. Yeah. It's still good. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 You know how we can keep the evil pains away? Keep the Spirit of the Lord a moving like He needs to move. And they won't come around. Yes. They might try to come and do something, but the Spirit of the Lord will stop them before they get a chance to do it. Yes. Uh, I believe that never with all my heart. Yeah, Chris, I believe that with all my heart. Yeah. Well, why didn't this happen to Saul? Because Saul brought it upon himself. Yeah. He got to put it around and he brought it upon himself. Ooh. And the Spirit of the Lord withdrew from him. And an evil spirit from God began to trouble him. Yeah. Began to trouble him. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't want to get to the shape painted that the Spirit of the Lord lead me. And an evil spirit from God begin to come and trouble my soul. Uh, boy, when you get to that shape, you're in trouble. Yes. You're in trouble. So I begin to get deeper and deeper into trouble. He got deep into trouble. And I never read where Saul ever got back with the Spirit of the Lord. Never read where he ever got the Spirit of the Lord back in. Best I can read, he died a lost man. Died a lost man. You may have found something different, but I've never found words any different. Last I read, Chris, he died a lost man. Yeah. Died a lost man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can feel the press tonight. You can feel the press tonight. Yes. But you know me enough by now, I'll press to the Lord gets down again. Yes. I'll press till he gets down. Yes. I can preach falling over in the floor and on it, or I can preach just barely talking it out. Yes. Whatever I have to do, yes. it's fine with me. Right. Yes. It's a whole lot easier, Chris, when the Lord is home and I barely can't stand on my feet. And I barely can't talk. It's a lot easier than it. But he's taught me, George, son, you're going to have to press. Yeah. Everything don't come easy. Oh, right. Everything don't come yeah. easy. He don't just fall right to you. And you don't ever have to press for it. He's taught me. He said, son, you live it in perilous time. You live it in pressing time. Yeah. The enemy's going to press. You're just going to have to pray. Seek God and fast and press back. Yes. And press back. Yes. 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 It may be a little press tonight, Bill, but one thing I know for sure, Eddie. God in heaven yeah. moved on me to preach this time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be a little prayer tonight that you can't make me die. Thank God did not move on me to preach You can't make me die. It was a little prayer last night preach. But you can't make me doubt that God moved on me last night to preach. Oh. Or the night before that, or the night before that, or last week, or the week before. Come on, my. Yes, come on. Praise the Lord. Thank God. <coughs> I know David was just getting started. You know, he hadn't done wonderful, great big things yet. Yeah. He was just getting started. He had a good start, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He had a good start. Yeah. Why? Because God chose him yeah. out of all his bigger brothers. Yeah. He said, David's the one I want. Yeah. 
Yeah. David's the one I can use. David's got a good heart. Yeah. I can use him. Yeah. <laughs> when you was out in sin, God chose you. Why? He knows he could use you. Yeah. He knows he could use you. Yeah. It's up to me and you if we let him use us or not. But he chose you, and he thought he knew he could use you. Oh, Isn't that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. Yeah. For years and years and years, I never really understood what that meant, you know. You may have a different understanding about it than me. I don't know. I always said, well, I wonder what in the world that really means, many are called, but few are chosen. Surely he ain't going to show respect to somebody else and choose them out of everybody. Come on, Come on. <laughs> And just leave everybody else out. Now I believe, I feel in my heart that the many that are called with God sent out a call to everybody. Yeah. But there was a few people that was chosen to do the works of God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That he know that he could use, he know that he could trust. And that's the ones that really trusted him. The ones that really gave their life to him. And the ones that really worked for him. He called many of people. But they didn't answer the call. They didn't answer the call. Uh, that's the way I feel. You may feel different about it. I'm not calling out. You may have something that makes more sense than that. That's the best that I can understand. He called many of people. But only a few of them were chosen. I want to be one of the chosen few to be I yes. used to sing a song, and said, I don't want to be one in a million. Just one of the chosen. Yeah. Just one yes. of the chosen. I don't want to be one of the ones that sat beside the president and, and makes all these big decisions. I don't want to be the one over the hospital and running the hospital, Eddie. I just don't want to be one of the chosen few yes. that chooses to work for God. Yes. And live my life for God, make it from payday to payday. Whatever I have to do, pray out my food, pray out my bill money. That's what I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to be. Surely you don't want to live a life like that. Why not? Oh. Why not? Oh. Why wouldn't you want to live a life like that? Oh. Why wouldn't you want to live a life like that? Jesus didn't have all his big high paying job. Oh. He took what the Father provided for him, and he was happy with that. Yeah. He didn't even have a place ready to lay his head. No. They didn't even have a good place for him to be born. Why am I any different? Come on. Why am I any different? I'm not saying it's wrong to have things. I'm not saying that at all. Some of the greatest men in the Bible was rich. Wealthy men. Abraham was wealthy. Job was wealthy. Great men of God. Great men of God. Yeah. I don't want to be nothing like that. I'm going to be one of the chosen few yeah. that has the Spirit of God. Me too. Work it down inside. Amen. Lord, I'm going to be one of them that's got the chosen. And I'm going to be one of them that the good overcome the evil. Yeah. Yes. That's a good that overcomes the evil. Yeah. Uh, I want to live the kind of life that God <coughs> smiled at and say, I'm pleased with you. Yeah. I'm pleased with you. Yes. If it gets down to where all I've got to eat is a half a cup of water and a shell piece of light for you. Come on, say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. We might get down to where all we got stale bread and a half a cup of water, but we can still look up. Even if we got that in our heart, just dry, we can look up and say, The Lord give it. Yeah. And He take it away. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. The same David that I'm preaching about tonight. He said, I once was young, but now I'm old. Yeah. Yeah. Never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed of making bread. Praise the Lord. Oh, 
David messed up down through life. He got in trouble. And it cost him one of his sons. It cost him a son. And he fasted and prayed. That baby died. He said, the child of the woods can't come to me. But I can go to him. I can go to him. He got up baby out of the ashes and he washed himself and he sat down to eat. Thank God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The man that God chose. The man that God chose. Wouldn't you like to be the one that God chose tonight? Yeah. yeah. I chose him <coughs> to put my spirit in. I chose him to do the work for me. Yeah. And he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. I believe with all my heart. Now everybody, except for these little babies, they don't, you know, they die, they go right on, they got no worries about that. Yeah. They got no worries about that. No. But everybody, Denver, that gets up to the age of knowing right from wrong, they get a call. Yeah. Yeah. They get a call at least once. Everybody gets set one call at least once. At least once. That's a promise to everybody to get the one car. Yeah. And I believe with all my heart, and I'm sure everybody in here knows believes this. He calls everybody, but he knows who is going to accept the call and who ain't. Yeah. Yeah. But he does that because he loves them anyway. He yeah. gives them a chance. Yeah. Gives them a chance. He, does. he knows who's going to work for him and who ain't going to work for him. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes, come on. He knows who's yeah. going to work and who ain't going to work. Yeah. And I believe this. I believe God knows who's going to make it yeah. and who ain't going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that. Why? Because he's God. Yeah. Yeah. He's God. He can see the future. He knows. I believe he knows who, who's going to make it and who ain't going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that it's wrong. Oh, anyway. We get fooling around. The Spirit of God will leave us. It'll leave us. And what's the say an evil spirit you got on? Won't come and trust me. Huh? And I don't believe it will if we got the Spirit of God will in us. But if it leaves us in, what starts to protect us? What is there to protect us? Right, come on. Once the Spirit of God is gone, once the blood is gone, we've got no protection. Right. We've got no protection. I know God is still God and He can take care of us. Yes. But once we've stood around and we let the Spirit of God leave us, we've got no protection. Right. We've got no protection. We're just there wide open for anything to take a hold of us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Praise, Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank God. Enemy tried to uh, get us tired and wore out this evening to sit down for a while. I was so tired. I was so tired. I felt so pain. He said, don't you regret it now? I don't regret a thing. I don't regret a thing. He said, see, you don't want in revival. Now you have to go. And you know you really don't want to go. There's no worries. I'd rather be we'll in the right where I'm at. Amen. There's no worries. I'd rather be in the right where I'm at. Yes. Praise the Lord. He said, You know you don't want to go. You're going to go and you're going to try to hurry and get it over with as quick as you can. Oh my you got our time to get in tonight. If we go till 12 o'clock tonight, thank God. Yes. We go till 12 o'clock tonight. Yes. 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 Yeah, we go to one o'clock, two o'clock. That's fine with me. Yeah. Whatever God wants, I'm out right on board. Me too. Yeah. I'm on board with whatever God wants. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's why you got up and preached to try to hurry us along. I got up and preached because it was time to get up and preach. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I felt that lady turn over and I said, well, it's time to preach. All right. Yeah. It's time. Right. Preacher, you get us confused sometimes. You don't let us sing. The time we sang one song, the time we sang two. That's good. I'm just a box full of surprises. You don't ever know what I'm going to do. 
Come you don't ever know what I'm going to do. I tried to keep us from getting in a thorn. Yeah. Uh, yes. The Spirit is trying to keep us in from getting in a thorn. The enemy finds out a thorn, and he knows exactly when to show up and what to do. Yeah. If he keeps a thorn all the time. Come on. <laughs> come on. I've been known to come in the door preaching. I've got out of the car before. Went to church by myself one time in a place. Got out of the sick or something. I don't remember what was. I think she was bad off sick or something. I went on eight. I got out of the car shout. Shouted through the parking lot. You don't ever know what was. Come on. <laughs> Mama. God begins to move. This old boy's going with it. Right. Right. He wants to shout me up the ramp. He'll shout me up the ramp and he'll yes. open the door for me and let me shout on in. Yeah. Is that all right? That's all right. That's all right. Praise the Lord. Come on. Why? Wow. Because that's what I said the last night the Spirit of the Lord is. They're asleep. Yeah. They're asleep. Yeah. He moves on me in my car, Eddie. They're sleeping. Yeah. Not in my car. Yeah. 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 He moves on me in the middle of the mountains. Yeah. Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. He moves on me there. There's liberty there. Why? Because the Spirit of the Lord is there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit of the Lord is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, we can overcome evil. Yeah. 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 Through the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Through the Spirit of God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Through the Spirit of God. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's good. Oh, anyway. Are you getting tired? Yeah. Come on. We've been going about two weeks now. Are you getting tired? If we get tired, we just get all the Spirit. That's our strength anyway. Yeah. We just say, now, Lord, I need a little strength. Now, you, we, we went this long. I need a little strength. He don't care if he's strength. Amen. He don't care if he gives you some strength. Amen. He knows we're all. He knows we only give him that. He knows we only play it. He don't care to give us a little strength. Amen. He got a storehouse full of strength. Yes. Yeah. He's going to preach you, you. You're acting crazy, you're sounding crazy, you need to sit down. No. Uh, you need to sit down and you're wasting our time. No. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. I am weak. Thank God. I know why he didn't want me to come tonight. I know why he wanted me to come with the dread. Yeah. I know why he wanted me to come with the dread. Oh, God. Oh, God. You may not know. I know why you want me to come with the dress. Come on, Father. Come on. Help him, Lord. Praise the Lord. You may not know why you want me to preach, why you want me to preach. I know why you moved on me and picked 21. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I know exactly why. Come on. I know exactly why. Yeah. Because we've got to overcome the evil spirit. Yeah. Yes. With the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Yes. That's the only way he can be done. That's the only way it can be done. Yes. That's the only way yeah. it can be done. You think they're out in the world, but out the world's full of them. Yeah. The world is full of them. I believe Karen's mamma, I mean, if she told me that her mamma told her once, uh, in other words, if you could just see them, it would probably scare you to death. Yeah. They so many of them. The Bible tells us they've been spirits. Yeah. Join yeah. out into the land. Yeah. Try the spirits. See if they beat God. There is one spirit of God. There's one. Yeah. There's one that works everything. There's a spirit of God that works everything. Yes. Uh, it works the tongues. It works the shout. It works the healings. It works the casting out of devils. It works all these wonderful things. It works for mama. We've got to overcome the evil ones. Yes. Preacher, why are you rambling on the way? Why are you rambling on the way? Oh, God. 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 O
used to begin to get on her hearts. I didn't understand why. I really didn't really know for sure why. Didn't question. Didn't question today. I just looked it up. Let her read it a little bit. Let her read. But I know why. Yeah. I know why now. I know why. Praise the Lord. That evil spirit had come to trouble Solomon. Yeah. Come to trouble Solomon. Yeah. But David came and it left. Yeah. Yeah. David came and it left. Praise the Lamb of God. Come on, my Lord. Praise the Lord have his way. We may have spirits won't come up here because we've got God, they'll come. Yes, they will. They'll show you. They sure will. They'll show you. Yes, they will. Praise the Lord. They'll come and see what's going on. They'll come and see what who's here. They'll come and see how many is here. Yeah. They'll come and see what's going on and what we got. And try to start slipping in. Yeah. Try to start slipping in. But it's up to us. To stand together. Yeah. Amen. Yes. It's up to us, Teddy, to get together. I'm talking about getting Amen. together. Yeah. In the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. And hit her depart. Hit her depart. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and put it to you this way. I'll put it to you this way. Tonight makes three nights now we've been in revival. How many nights has it been here? Huh? Can anybody tell me? Huh? Can anybody tell me how many nights the evil spirits been here to trouble us? It's been here two nights, I can tell you that right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'd not known before until it was too late. Right. Oh, Glory. Heal that man. Heal that man. At least I'd not known before until it was too late.
Oh, I'm going to take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> Little baby, then when he began yes. to play his heart, and that evil spirit that troubles all, it left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you going to handle snakes, preacher? You're rubbing your hands. You're doing this tonight. Wow. There'll be no snakes handled tonight, boys. I'll tell you that. Wow. Wow. be no snakes handled tonight. So you want Sleep on. Oh. Come on. Sleep on. Are you the one driving? Sleep on. Huh? Everybody just sleep on. Let's keep your mind off that one. Yes. I'm sorry. We only human. We only human. We're gonna miss things. We're gonna miss things, Denver. We only human. Yes. I've seen preachers, I've seen prophets, I've seen pastors, serving hundred singers, I've seen them miss things. But the Holy Ghost misses nothing. No. He misses nothing. You're acting like you're going to take them out, preacher. No. I done told you, there ain't no circle of tunnels tonight. Come on. Huh? Right. Be none of that tonight. Just get that off your mind. Right. What are you doing that for? I feel it running right on up and right on up and right on up. Yeah. He moves on me, at least, so I don't question why he's moving on me. He's got a perfect plan. He's got a perfect will. And he knowed everything before the revival ever started. He knew trouble was going to come. He knew trouble was going to come. Well, he could have held the trouble off. Why would you want trouble to hold off? And you not get held. Uh, you can get help. You can still get help. Trouble's going to be around everywhere. The world is full of trouble, boys. Yes. The world's full of trouble. Yes. Every world's full of trouble. So we do not go to church no more because the world's full of trouble. No. no. Well, I pray that if I go to church, trouble's going to be there. If you don't go to the house of God, trouble's still going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble's yeah. still going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lamb of God. Thank God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you are my shalom. Watch now, I say watch and pray. Watch now. I say watch real close and you pray. I'll let you see, I say I will, I'll let you see. Praise the Lord. You can't serve God when things not come go. It's impossible. Well, ever since there hey, was a God to serve, hey, there's been things going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's been trouble somewhere. Yeah. When Jesus was walking, there was trouble. Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus was hanging on the cross, guess what? There was still trouble. Yes. They was at the foot of the cross, yeah. casting lots over his garments. 
What is Cash and I'll say was gambling, seeing who could get the highest score and win his garments. Yep. Yeah. He's been trouble ever since they was a world. He's been trouble. Yeah. Adam and Eve got the trouble started in the Garden of Eden. They've been trouble ever since. They've been trouble ever since. Yep. No matter how much you pray, no matter how much you seek God, the world is still going to be in trouble. Yes. This world is still going to be in trouble. The Lord will pray and see it all in past. Maybe things will turn around. Things ain't going to turn around. No. We need to pray and seek God and make sure that we're ready. Amen. Because the world is not going to change. It's not going to turn around. It's always going to be trouble. It's always going to be evil and wickedness in this old world. But how can we live in a world full of wickedness and still overcome? Through the Spirit of God. Yes. He begotten by the Word and kept by the power. Yes. May the power of God go to keep me in you. May the Spirit of God go to keep us oh, in the time of trouble. Pray, yes. oh, Lord. Oh, May the Spirit of God and keep us, Bill, yes. when trouble's all around. May yes. the Spirit of God and keep us. Yes. Yeah. Pray, Lord. Pray, Lord. I still don't feel trouble, preacher. You're in bad shape. You're in bad shape. If you don't feel it by now, boys, you're in bad shape. You're in bad shape. If you don't feel trouble by now, you better be seeking God. And getting a hold of God real fast and real quick and in a hurry. Pray the Lamb of God. Pray the Lamb. I ain't got no heart to play to you. No, I'm not no music player. I know a few chords on a guitar and somebody is. I ain't got the heart that David had, but I've got the same God. i got the same spirit. Uh, hey, that's what it takes. His yes, it, is. it wasn't the heart that got the job done. It's what got in the heart when they began to play. Yes. That got the job done. Praise the Lord. Are you discouraged, preacher? I'm not a bit discouraged tonight. I'm not a bit discouraged. I know we weren't going to have a good revival and nothing bad ever happened. Nothing bad tried to come. I know it wasn't going to happen. You go to do good. He was always free. The devil's always going to show his ugly face. Yeah. He's always going to, Bill. No matter what we do, he's always going to show his ugly face. Yeah. As long as we stay with the Spirit of God, we can be over the yeah. One thing I've learned. The devil can't stay where the spirit is. No, he can't do it. He can't do it. He's scared of the devil. He's scared of the spirit of God. The devil knows he's got some power, but he knows God has got way more power. You know where the devil got his power from? God allowed him to have power. God allowed him to have power. But God has still got God. He's still got more power. And he's still in control. Yes. He's still in control. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, you people, Lord. Come on, Lord. Do you believe God's still got enough power? I believe he's still got enough power. Yes. To do anything. He had enough power that he could do it out of heaven. He got enough power that he can kick him off of Disney Hill if he wants to. Yeah. Uh, come on, Apple. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Lord, It's not me, but it's in God. Yeah. It's in God. I'm just a man. I'm just flesh and blood like anybody else. But God is a spirit. God is the ruler of this world. He's the one that controls everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's the one that controls everything. He said, let it be done and it's done. He said, not to be done and it's not done. He tells the devil to go and the devil goes. He tells the devil to stop and the devil stops. He knows better. He knows he has to listen to God. He knows he has to listen to God. He hates God. Yeah. He hates him. Yeah. He knows God is in control. Thank you. Uh, come on. Yeah. We'll be down here quick enough. Take your time. Take your time. We'll be down here quick enough whenever God says it's enough. That's enough. All right. All right. I know when it's enough. Sometimes people may wonder if I know when it's enough. I know when Come it's on. enough. Yeah. Come on. And I know when it's enough, Lisa. When the Lord gets off of me, that's enough. Yeah. When he said, son, that's enough, it's enough. Yeah. 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 I'm as quick to sit down. I try to be as quick to sit down as I am when he moves on me to preach. I try to be as quick to not preach. When he said it's enough, I try to be just as quick to be enough. Yeah. Why? Because if you stay up a minute too long, you can turn out everything you've been building. Yeah. Yeah. You can cause just as much trouble oh. as you did hell for even more trouble than you did. Yeah. <coughs> Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Well, that makes me not want to come back to the revival. I want to trouble to you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Surely you love us more than that. Are you going to quit preaching because trouble's here? Absolutely not. Absolutely, this ain't the first time I run into trouble. <laughs> it ain't the first time, and it sure ain't going to be the last time. If I live long enough, I'll run into trouble again. And guess what? If I still got the Spirit of God, I'll still preach right through trouble. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If I still got what I need to have, I'll preach the truth. Yeah. Yes. Not because of me, oh. but because of that that dwells inside. Right. Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lamb of God. Praise the Lord. Let me read that last verse one more time. You don't have to sit down. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took an heart and played with his hand so Saul was refreshed and was well. And the spirit departed from him. Maybe the spirit never come back to him no more. I thought maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Then he was well, so apparently he didn't come back no more. I'm sorry. Maybe it never did bother him again. It can be the same way. Trouble's still going to be there, no matter what. Yes, but we can get rid of one trouble. And it will never come around again. Yeah. But that don't mean something else ain't going to come back. Come on, church. Come on. I the word of God said a man born and woman. He a few days full of trouble. Full of trouble. Yeah. We're going to face trouble till we die. And in this life, Bill, we're going to face trouble. Yep. We live in a world full of trouble. We can't help but face trouble. Even if we don't serve God, we're going to face trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So why not just face God? Yeah. 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 We're just about to that point now. It's, uh, it's not because I'm wanting to. I, I wouldn't care to preach to us any more hours. Yeah. The Lord moved on us. I love to preach. What I do? Yeah. I, love yeah. that, I love feeling that candy that moves on me. That's how I love that, I tell you. Yeah. And uh, I told them before, I say this, and I'll try to get through here. Uh, Back before God ever called me to preach, you know, give me the Holy Ghost or call me or anything. I get up sometimes and I testify. Man, I feel good testifying. I told him, I said, boy, I'm telling you. I said, I don't know what it feels like to get anointed to preach, but if it feels much better than this, I don't know if I can handle it. 
Don't know if I can stand it or not. Have it with us. But I believe, Bill, that I felt faint that God has called me to preach that I never felt in my life. Mm. I felt pain, Daddy, since he baptized me with the Holy Ghost and Father that I never felt in my life. Mm. And I found out what he was meaning when he said you receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Boy, I'm telling you. Since he baptized me and called me to preach Joseph, I felt pains that I've never felt in my life. Lord, have mercy. It's the same spirit. <coughs> Just deeper depth, say. That's that. Yes. Just deeper depths every day. Yeah. Talked the other night, maybe when I said one day last week about ankle deep water, knee deep water, getting out up to your lawns, swimming water, you know. Yeah. He took me out to some swimming waters a time or two longer. Yeah. Come on, boy, my head and hit felt like nothing I've ever felt in this life. Wow. I need to get into the swimming waters more often. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yes. I do. I know what I gotta do to get there. Same thing I was doing when I got there before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I want to get out into the deeper swimming waters than I've ever been, and I'll have to do a little more than what I was doing before. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Same. Let them pray, y'all.